Hey everybody, this is Chris from Katana, and in this video we're going to talk all about job shop scheduling to improve your operations management. Job shop scheduling, also known as shop floor control, enables you to track, schedule, and report on the progress of work throughout your manufacturing process. So if you're a small manufacturer, this video is definitely for you. One of the biggest challenges for small and growing manufacturing businesses is task management. In order to overcome the headaches of task management, Katana has developed our shop floor functionality. This enables you to add operator level users directly to your Katana account, assign to those users dedicated tasks which they will work on, and then with our shop floor app, your users can log in, see the tasks that they must perform, and then update them in real time. These real time updates flow directly back into Katana's dashboard and update your manufacturing orders. During the course of this video, we're going to show you how to add an operator directly into your Katana account, how to assign operations directly to that operator, and then we'll do a walkthrough of Katana's shop floor app where you can see how tasks are completed and how it interacts directly with Katana's dashboard. So let's go ahead and get started. In this example, we're representing a small surfboard manufacturing company. They produce a line of longboards as well as shortboards. They sell direct to consumer on their website as well as B2B and wholesale. On the make screen, they currently have five open manufacturing orders for various surfboards. And if we take a look inside of one of those manufacturing orders at this example of a surfboard that's currently being made, it takes 12 operation steps to complete it. These operation steps will also be visible here on the task list. And this task list, you can identify resources, which for this example, we have specified as workstations. So we have an assembly table, a shaping room, a coatings room, as well as a paint booth. At each of these locations, there are a series of operations that have to be performed, and somebody has to work on those specific operations. Presently, in our assigned to column, which dictates exactly who is assigned to that specific operation, it is identifying that these operations are presently unassigned, which means we have no operator specified to work on it. So the first thing we need to do, since this account currently only has one user, is we need to add operator level users in order to create assignments into our task list page. In order to add a floor level user to Katana, we need to go to the top right drop down, choose team, and select add a new team member. In this pop-up, you'll be given two options, either to add a user or to add an operator. The difference between these two options is a user level access is somebody who accesses the current version of Katana that we're presently working with and can see, edit, and update everything. However, operator level access means that they'll only have access to the shop floor app, and within the floor app, they can only see manufacturing orders as well as tasks, and also only update by starting, pausing, or completing their tasks. So let's go ahead and add our first operator. Here we will add the user's full name, so we'll add an operator named Jason. This will be the name that's displayed in the assigned to column whenever you're doing assignments to that specific operator. Also, when Jason is logging into Katana's shop floor app, he needs to enter a six digit pin code, which he will use to get access to the app. Once you add this, to complete the registration process, we actually have to set up the floor device. So the way the device is set up, Katana will generate a QR code. And at this stage, you'll need to ask your operator to come to the screen, take a photo with the QR code displayed, and it will automatically redirect them into the browser window where they can enter their six digit pin, and then that will register them into the platform. So let's go ahead and switch over to our mobile device and start that process. Here on our mobile device, we can then scan the QR code that's generated, and then you'll be prompted to visit the website here in Safari. And this will take you directly into the Katana Shop Floor app, where Jason, with his registered code, will need to enter one six times and log in. Once that's done, he can continue directly into the app and he'll be able to start using Katana's app directly from the shop floor level. Now that Jason has successfully logged in, you can see that he is now active here and it's not waiting in a pending status. What we want to do now is assign him directly to some pre-existing operations. So to do that, we'll go to the make list and select the tasks option. And in this list, you'll see all of the operations that are currently needed to be performed because you can identify that they haven't been started yet. 
In the Assigned To section where it says Unassigned, you can select there Jason's name and it will be directly assigned to him. Or alternatively, you have a couple of options. You can select the resource, which in this case is the assembly table, and it will select all of the operations that are currently assigned at the assembly table, and then you can assign in bulk directly to Jason straight from there. So in this case, Jason is going to see all of the tasks that are currently occurring at the assembly table that he has to work on for all of the orders currently in manufacturing. When Jason logs back into the shop floor app, he will see a full list of all of the tasks which we have assigned to him. In this full list of tasks, he can click into any task and see more information specific to the manufacturing order that the task is related to. In this case, he can see the product, the number of pieces to make, the manufacturing order number, and also an ingredients list for all of the materials that will be consumed during this manufacturing process. The indicator to the left where it's green will identify if that specific ingredient is actually in stock. It'll be yellow if it's expected to arrive either from an incoming PO or it'll be red if it's not available. If Jason wants to take a look at the operations related to this manufacturing order, he can see that information from the operations tab. There are 12 operations associated with this manufacturing order and he is currently inside of the one task that is specified at the very top, cut stringer and attach foam blocks, this task. On the notes section, if the manufacturing order has any info in the additional information section that's found at the bottom of an MO, it is also passed to the shop floor app so your shop floor users can use that information when needed. On the main task list, the operator has the option to press the start button. And notice when we press the start button, going back into the task list inside of Katana, it will change the manufacturing order from status of not started into work in process. That means that this current operation is presently being worked on. If the operator chooses the pause option, it will stay as a work in process. They're also given the option to resume it. And then when they finish it, you will see that the task will close off from the task list here. When the operator on the left hand side is starting multiple tasks at the same time, this information and status update transfers simultaneously into Katana's task list on the right hand side. And as they're completing those manufacturing operations, then those tasks will disappear from both screens. While inside of a task, the operator also has the option to press the start option here, pause, resume, finish and it will update in real time on the task list as well. Inside of Katana's back office, while using the platform, the updates that are taking place will actually update the total production status of the manufacturing order in real time. And when all of the tasks are completed, then this manufacturing order status will change to done. This is also a very important element for your sales orders that might be made to order you can have a general overview of when you're expecting those manufacturing orders to be completed and then the production status is carried all the way to the sales order level, thus giving you live information that you can pass to your customer in these types of events. That about sums it up for our shop floor control as well as floor app and should give you some new ideas how you can digitize your manufacturing workflows to help you overcome your task management challenges as well as stay on top of your production team in real time. Please stay tuned and keep an eye on our shop floor app as we continue to add upgrades to it on a monthly basis. If you have any questions about features within our app, feel free to send us a message to support at katanamrp.com. For more great content on smart manufacturing, please check out some of our other videos. Subscribe to our channel, like, share, and comment down below. That's it from me today. Until next time, happy manufacturing.